Neighborhood Association. He's a steering committee member at the Northampton Living Wage Coalition. He's twice been elected to represent Ward 3 at the Democratic State Convention. Uh, he's worked with City Council President Bill Dwight on Northampton's resolution calling on Congress to get big money out of politics. Uh, he's, uh, he's a Valley native, a UMass graduate, and a resident of Day Avenue in beautiful Ward 3. <laughs> He's a uh, champion of public education and opposes closing Bridge Street School. Let's keep Bridge Street School open. Um, uh, he wants to re renew the push for healthier school lunches for our kids. Uh, he wants to work to reinvigorate Northampton's imperiled arts and creative economy. Yes. 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 Uh, he's also, I, and I was on the radio today, and we talking about the, the need for an override. Uh, he wants to, yes, vote yes! Uh, he's an advocate for tax code that uh, takes the, the burden off middle income families, senior citizens, and the poor. Um, so I'd like to introduce, introduce to you today a progressive, a Democrat, and a man who wants to build on our strengths and work together, Ryan O'Donnell. Hey, Sarah, I feel like I'm going to get beamed up in this transport. <laughs> Maybe that'll help, depending on how I do. How's everyone, go? How's everyone doing? Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Jim, uh, for that generous introduction. Uh, although you sort of cover all the points that I'm going to, I'm going to say right now, but that's okay. We've got kind of a clip notes version uh, if you need it. And uh, let me also thank a few other people without whom uh, this campaign would not have launched and would not be going as strong as I think it is. Uh, first, Wendy and David Newton. Springfield, 
Um, my mother and father actually lived on Isabella Street for many years. Uh, around the time I was born, they separated, and uh, my mother moved to Amherst, where I grew up. And I went to public schools there. I graduated from, U from UMass. And my mother also was a, was a secretary at UMass and a public school teacher. Uh, my grandfather was a public school teacher in the city of Hoyo uh, for 25 years. Uh, since then, I've done lots of different things. I used to work for the Fine Arts Center at the university. For the last 10 years, I've worked on progressive public policy for a variety of different nonprofits, uh, like Common Cause, on campaign finance reform, ethics, and transparency in government. Locally, I've been on the board of the Ward for Free Neighborhood Association, and some of the other bullet points uh, Jim covered. And I'm hoping that this experience is valuable on the city council. Uh, the job I'm running for is not one where you go and tell people uh, what they want to hear. It's a job where you go and accomplish things uh, for your community. You need someone to be an active city councilor, and that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, I'm also hoping to be a city councilor who uh, goes after and seeks out new ideas. The, the need to, to recognize our strengths is not the same as keeping everything the same. And the need to build on our strengths is not the same as doing everything the way it's always been done. Uh, I also want to be a counselor who builds alliances with members of my colleagues in the council and city departments. But I also want to stand firm when events call for it. And if the interests of Ward 3 are on the line, I'm unwilling to, in fact, stand alone uh, to protect Ward 3's interests. Woo! Um, thing that I will stand firm on, and is a strength that we all uh, hold close to our hearts, is the public schools in our city. Uh, I, will, I come from a family of public school teachers, and I will always be a champion for public education in the city of Northampton. I will oppose any effort to close Bridge Street School, and I do want to renew the separate for healthier school lunches. Uh, we return to Fresh Wednesdays, but also Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays <laughs> as well. The menus and cafeterias here should give this vague impression that we're somehow surrounded by acres and acres of beautiful Pioneer Valley farmland, uh, which in fact we are. Um, this is an issue that I think highlights another important uh, tack I want to take, which is, you know, there, there are many things the City Council, can, uh, the city council can't do directly uh, or control exclusively. And school nutrition is one of them. But just the fact that the city council doesn't have direct authority over school nutrition does not mean we stop advocating to improve it. Uh, the fact that we may from time to time have to work with the state or other communities in the region to protect our natural environment or open spaces is not a reason to back off of that challenge. And also the fact that the city council can't unilaterally change state tax policy is not a reason to stop pushing for a progressive income tax the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Yeah. As you all know, right now, if you make a million dollars a year, you're paying the same or perhaps less as someone who works at a gas station. And that's a fundamental moral injustice in our society. And it's also, as a practical matter, has led to declining state aid to cities and towns across Massachusetts for over a decade, chapter 70 funds, chapter 90 funds, and other support, and too often the burden falls uh, disproportionately on the poor or uh, middle income families or senior citizens. Uh, these are issues that our city can't afford to ignore and need to fight for them and push them, even if it involves working outside the city council chambers. And there are a great many things that I think we can build on in addition to Northampton. Uh, I care about the arts. I used to work at the Fine Arts Center uh, along with my friend Lucia Miller. And uh, this is something that's tremendously valuable and, and part of who we are. And I want to see the Center for the Arts have a home downtown. Yeah. I like the home city of Ward 3. Yeah. 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 to be as vibrant and thriving as the economy in North Canada. That's tremendously important. So, Take it all together, you know, we are, we are a great city. We have real challenges right now, but I believe we also have unshakable strengths. And a lot 
to look forward to, and I really look forward to working with each and every one of you to build on these strengths, protect what's valuable in the city of Northampton and in Ward 3, and protect what is truly special for all of us. Thank you very much. For being here.